Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on Maps TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're coming here for the first time. If you're regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that others may also see what we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So we are reporting on the recent pay hack that was awarded to civil servants. It's the government's recent disproportionate pay hike for civil servants is essentially a vote buying gimmick by the ruling Zanu PF to win over the support of public sector workers ahead of the August general elections. Civil servants such as teachers and uh, police play a critical role in elections as presiding officers and security personnel. This week, in a move tantamount to vote buying, the government announced through Finance Minister Permanent Secretary George Guamatanga a hundred percent Yes, a whooping 100% same dollar salary increment. He also announced an increase in the cushioning and COVID-19 allowance from $200 to 250 across uh, all sectors, excluding the health sector. In the education sector, Guamatanga announced a $80 teacher allowance for every teacher indexed to the interbank rate and paid in the moribund local currency and there was also an increase of the cushioning and COVID-19 allowance for government patient years from 90 years to 100 years and a promise of free primary education to a maximum of three children at government schools for teachers as well as a funded funeral insurance framework for rest of civil servants. Um, last week reports emerged that the government has also increased salaries of police by 400 percent before the latest increment was made public and as reported by this publication zan pf has resorted to its traditional vote buying tactics ahead of the elections and traditional chiefs last week were pampered with all terrain vehicles in a development that reignited concerns that rigging mechanisms of the next elections are already underway. President Emerson Mnangagwa will contest the next presidential elections with ARC rival Nelson Chamisa of the Citizens Coalition for Change handed over vehicles to 38 newly installed chiefs during the annual chiefs con co conference held in Blawayo and the Anti-Corrupt and Trust of Southern Africa Director Obed Chinamu warned that the government is continued link to reports of vote buying maintained the credibility of the polls way before the elections are actually held. An election observer missions normally come when dates for the polls are announced. However, we have already seen several cases of vote buying which are in violation of electoral laws. It is a scenario that is undesirable for a constitutional democracy country like this Zimbabwe and we implore the Zimbabwe Electoral Commissioner to wake up from its slumber and begin to show truth and strength in combating fault buying which is tantamount to electoral commission corruption. Recently, the government also passed out ambulance emblazoned with big portraits of Nangagwa which again is tantamount to vote buying. Before that, ZANU-PF officials had been busy in the campaign trail, doling out more goodies with the recent incident being that of an identified man who was caught on camera distributing cash in anticipation of votes in ZANU-PF's uh, primary elections. There has also been distribution of chickens, fertilizers and drilling of balls by ZANU-PF functionaries in a gain vote buying tactics and in the rural areas the ruling party has lately been distributing food in a partisan way to starving villagers which manifests itself in the carrot and stick approach where there is both inducement and cohesion according to the constitution central government is mandated to take a leading role in food aid distribution but sanupf he has been using the obligation to harvest votes 30 percent of the rural population which Translates to about 3.8 million people who face who face hunger this year, according to the government statistics. In the recent report by the Zimbabwe Civil Society and Corruption Coalition and other concerned civil society organizations raised grave concerns against eight 
of fraud buying in the country, which he described as electoral corruption. So this is what is happening. We will see and more of these antics as the elections draw closer and we just wish for a peaceful, free and fair election. Anokonika inemfaru, denue inyo honorable madiva.